If you haven't already, I'm going to click just to turn off the highlighting. It's always a little scary when you have highlighting on because if you tap a key or uh, you know hit the return key or something like that, it'll it'll replace what is highlighted with the key that you uh, just tapped, and that's really scary when you have a select all in place. Well, let's do some more formatting. I'm going to come down to this paragraph below where our bullets are now and uh, we're going to use the indent command. This is going to, uh, when I click on it, it indents this entire paragraph uh, one tab setting and that's something you would use if you had some sort of a um, quote paragraph in that uh, needs to be set aside. And you know, keep in mind a lot, a lot of the things that we're doing right now are kind of abnormal things that you normally wouldn't use, but we're trying to show a lot of the features of Microsoft Word. So we're we're doing some things that are just a little on the silly side, but we're trying to show features. Now the next paragraph, I have highlighted the next paragraph, and once again I'm on the home tab or home ribbon. And we're going to use this uh, column item and we can turn this into multiple columns, one, one column, two, three, whatever. We're going to turn that paragraph into two columns and you can look down here and I'm going to click to turn off the highlighting and you can see that we now have two columns and we could go back in and change a little of the formatting of the columns but we're just going to keep it with the default. Now one more thing I'm going to do, I'm going to come down and I'm going to highlight the next paragraph, once that paragraph is highlighted, we're going to change the line spacing and this item again on the home tab is going to allow me to change this from uh, single spacing to one and a half spacing to double spacing. There's all kinds of options. We could even customize the options, but we're going to use double spacing and you can look down here and see that this information is now all double spaced. Once again I'm going to click, turn off the um, the highlighted area and we can come back up here and look and we can see that uh, our little icon is a little on the uh, washed out side that means that we need to save and I'm just going to use the keyboard command which is command S. I'm going to tap that and uh, you can see now that it has saved because my icon now is all the colors are back so I'm ready to move on to the very next step.